Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Marnie Rose Edge and I want to share with you a shortcut method that I use for drawing when I'm pressed for time. So let's get started. So here is my black and white image and a sheer sheet of tracing paper over the top. I am going to start with straight lines because straight lines are, are more accurate. I do enjoy drawing and I really just wanted to share this with you as an exercise that if you're not, um, if you don't enjoy drawing as much or you just need to do something fast then this is an easy method. But the straight lines will keep uh, accuracy. So you want to have uh, go around the big shapes and keep it in. You can refine afterwards if you want to create curves but if you keep them as straight lines it will be far more accurate. Here I am um, separating the shadow shapes of the fur and just and the eyes. I'm going to really focus on what's important for me for when I paint, which is eyes, nose, muzzle and fur direction. So you can see that it really will uh, make a difference when you do that. You can have as much detail or as little detail as you want. I'm using an 8B Faber-Cassell uh, pencil so you can see it. This is not uh, what I would normally use. I normally use an HB or a 2B pencil um, which is totally for my own personal preference. It's, it means that it's not going to be that dark. But so you can see what I'm doing. I went for a darker pencil and you can see here I'm going to separate out the head shape just by going around the edge of the fur and it's still the shadow shape. Keeping the, um, the direction and I'm also going to just draw in the negative shapes which is the darker areas for fur direction. So this will be quicker. Normally it takes me around an hour and a half to draw uh, directly onto watercolor paper um, but this way it's roughly 15 minutes before so I can uh, trace then transfer and refine. My black and white is uh, it's much easier to see from a black and white so and I have a black and white printer at home so that's why I have uh, chosen to use the black and white. It shows your values easily as opposed to color being um, distracting to values because you can have colors, uh, different colors but the same value whereas this is just going to show you uh, the different values. So again it's really about you know keeping the light shapes and the shadow shapes separate and showing me the fur direction. It is uh, taped onto a board so that um, I have the uh, tracing paper taped down and I'm always going to be observing and considering. But again, this is, it really will give you an idea of um, having a drawing done that is less intimidating than actually drawing. So you see that wasn't that um, long. So I'm just going to remove it from the board. The tape was not masking tape, so it gave me a little bit of uh, trouble to get off. 
and then I will show you what it looks like by removing the black and white and add the black and white tape down as well and then on the orange paper it's much easier to see so that so the actual tracing only took about five minutes I'm going to now refine the tracing by darkening up the eyes nose and mouth areas so you can um, see the the dog much easier by shading these Richard Schmidt who is a very respected oil painter in the US wrote in his book it is okay to trace if it is your own photograph if you're using your own photograph so your own photograph your own composition it's if it's good enough for him to say it's good enough to do it really um, learning to draw is a learned skill and it's a really good tool to have in your toolbox but uh, I resort to tracing when I have uh, less time and I need to get something done much quicker so 15 minutes to an hour and a half is uh, a big saving for me and it means I can move into painting a lot faster I will do this for watercolor or oils um, typically for oils I will just do the outside area but with painting the uh, pet in watercolor I really want the realism and the eyes nose and mouth area to come alive when I'm done so that's why I do focus on those areas more than uh, anything else having the um, the outside shape correct makes a big difference as well so drawing in straight lines as opposed to curves is what will give you this accuracy there he is I have now taped down my watercolor paper with um, its one pound 140 pound arches um, cold press and I've used two inch wide tape because it really does keep it anchored I've taped down the tracing I'm using Sally's wax free graphite and wax free graphite is what you need for watercolor and I'll smooth it out so I get good contact uh, if you use typical carbon paper it has wax in it and the paint will resist be resisted by that wax line so you want to make sure it's wax free I'm using just a regular ballpoint pen and again tracing or transferring in straight lines to keep that accuracy and not um, change the shape or size of the animal it can be used for any subject it gets you in the uh, a fairly accurate ballpark for um, painting from so again I'm taking the lighter shapes so I'm just really um, and shading in the eyes again so this is to show you um, the direction of the fur as well and pretty much everything that I have done with the um, original tracing I'm just transferring which means you can do as much or as little as you want I really prefer a road map of all these um, features and build familiarity with the subject so the the dog in this case and I really feel by tracing it and then transferring it and then I will refine with a pencil as well I am seeing it three times 
and I'm observing and being considerate of the subject so that I can really um, have memory of what I've been uh, looking at rather than just seeing it once and being so focused on the photograph. This way I'm not so intensely fo focused on the photograph when I come to paint because you know, I'm not going to put in every single um, fur. I really want to create an impression of fur. So having that direction is my guide. And around the, the tongue area and there's teeth in there too. He's got a couple of teeth. So I really want to, and when you paint teeth, you want to keep it very, um, do as little as possible basically. Uh, but this way I get to see. So you can use a stylus instead of a ballpoint pen. Your ballpoint pen doesn't even need to um, be working. It's just to give you um, an area of uh, pressure to put down. A pencil doesn't give you as much pressure as what using a pen does. And as you can see, you can hardly see the transfer at all because it is not that dark. So I'm going to go back in with an HB uh, Faber-Cassell pencil and start by shading in the eyes. So the why I'm shading in these areas or I shade in the darker areas that um, are not going to be seen, you know, the paint is going to be darker over the top of the pencil so it will disappear. If the, um, if the graphite was very very dark, if I'd used a, well, I used pressure but it's very hard to see in the video. Um, so hence why I'm going back in and refining it to show you more. And because of the lighting too. Just to really make it um, as good as possible to see for you. So here again I'm re refining that um, fur direction, the outside shape. I'm becoming very familiar with my subject. I really love the fact that um, I will know the subject really well by the time I come to paint because the painting will be the fourth time. So again it's giving me um, observation skills. I can uh, see more when I do this. Hence why it takes a lot longer when I draw directly because I'm training my eye to see all the things that I need to see at the time whereas I'm really having that by doing this three times instead. Um, it was around his mouth part where his teeth are so I just want to shade that in and refine. And like I said, you can do as much as you want or as little as you want. You, as you know, you may be a detail person, you may not be. And it really does um, just give you more familiarity. So you'll have your own roadmap as to what you need. You'll pick out the most important things to you for what you're going to use for painting. And I'm just sharing with you the things that are very important to me. So, and hope that it helps you. Drawing is a learned skill. It's um, definitely, you know, and this is just a starting point. A lot of people get very intimidated by drawing. I know I was when I first started and all I did was trace and then I moved into a grid system and then I could draw freehand. 
because I did life drawing or drawing from life and drawing from life means that it trains your eye for perspective and uh, proportion and angles and you start to uh, get very familiar with those and if you don't practice you don't gain those skills and you have to keep practicing so it really is um, learned we're not born with these skills people start off drawing at a very young age um, and they'll if they drop it and don't go back to it for a long time it takes time to build those skills again so again I'm just <clears throat> sharing with you a, a method that has really helped me and I hope it helps you because everyone wants to paint and not draw but when it comes to realism if you want something to look realistic you need the drawing skills so this again you can see how I can uh, get that fur direction and we're almost there so you'll see the next shot is the actual drawing on the paper and I thank you very much for watching so you can see there he is take care